Hey beloveds, welcome to Beanie TV where I offer you sprinkles of spiritual sassiness and teach you how to mind your own blissness. If you are new to this channel, hello, I am Abina Ansa, also known as Beanie TV, and I am, am a yoga teacher, I am an intuitive empath, I am a starseed, I am an earth angel, I am a meditation practitioner. I am all the things that make life on this third dimension a little bit better. I like to call myself a healing facilitator and that is what I am. So, so my channel is all about self-love before self-love was a trend. Your girl was on it. Okay. Uh, my channel is all about esoteric knowledge and it really is life advice. And whenever I go through something, I come on YouTube and I share it um, through I share it as the divine vessel that I am. So it's really been on my heart to talk about insecurities and insecure and not the TV show. What's up, Isa? What's up, Yvonne? Can you guys believe that they are, um, that the show's over? I can't, I can't, I can't. No, Isa, don't leave me, girl, don't leave me. The new Oxford American Dictionary states that insecure is something that is not firmly fixed something that is liable to give way or break, and two, of a person, <laughs> not confident or assured, uncertain and anxious. All right, so now we're gonna get into the conversation. <laughs> so let's get into it. For someone to be uncertain, for someone to be unsure, for someone to be um, unstable, we are not born this way. As a soul, we are in complete perfection. As a soul, we are in complete perfection. And then when we come to this earth, it's the third dimension, which is a denser dimension, which is a lower vibrating dimension naturally. And the people that raise us who have also come to this earth and might have forgotten that they are not what the world says they are, and that they have forgotten how to intrinsically love, they have forgotten who they are, project that onto you. So first and foremost, if you are insecure in any area of your life, it is okay and it is not your fault. It is not your fault that you might deal with insecurities. It is not your fault for being insecure. I think a lot of times when you go online and you're like, oh, how do I stop being insecure? How do I start being anxious? How do I start being more confident? People need to talk about how, first of all, it's not your fault that you feel this way or are this way. And I applaud you for wanting to break through and let that false idea that someone as beautiful and as intelligent and as amazing and as worthy of you could or would have ever or ever did feel insecure about the holiness that you are. So when we think about it, when we think about our parents, right? Our parents are just people. They don't know better than us. They are not better than us. They are not anything more than us. They are just human beings who had kids and are figuring out this life thing as well. And unfortunately, a lot of us grew up in dysfunctional, unloving homes like myself. And this caused me to grow up with severe low self-esteem, a lot of anxiety, serious people pleasing, never believing I was good enough, never believing I was enough, always believing I was a piece of shit, literally. And that is not anyone's fault. It's not my father's fault. It's not my mother's fault. It's not my grandfather's fault. It's not my grandmother's fault. It's not my brother's fault. It's not their fault. It comes from, it, as I was doing my ancestral healing, it comes from, I come from a family of very unaffectionate, um, love you, but don't show you that they love you type of people. Now I'm, I'm West African, my family is from Ghana. So if you're African, you're Caribbean, even if you're Asian, which happens a lot in Asian communities, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> if you are a BIPOC or LGBTQIA+, you know what I'm saying. So, um, and I know it happens with all people, but B-I-P-O-C, LGBTQIA+, 
like. <laughs> so, um, growing up that way, how could you not feel insecure? If nobody is pouring into you, if everyone around you feels like shit, if everyone around you doesn't accept themselves, if everyone around you doesn't love themselves, and they project that onto you in um, subconscious ways, and it sits and seeds and grows in your subconscious, it is not your fault that you are insecure. It's not your fault. It is your fault if you continue to be insecure, and it is your fault if you continue to let your insecurities ruin your life. And so we cannot blame the previous generation for not doing the healing work. They didn't have the internet. They didn't have supportive communities online around them to help them. Again, the internet. <laughs> um, say what you want, but the internet has basically raised me into the woman that I am today. So literally me and the internet are how you see me as this whole beautiful being right now. Me and the internet and of course spirit and Jesus. But they didn't have the books that we have. They didn't have access right because they were in survival mode those baby boomers that baby boomer generation i'm a millennial right so they had to survive you think that they had time to sit here and like meditate on <laughs> why their mother did this or why their father did that no they didn't have the time they didn't have the energy it wasn't there right but because of a sh great shift because of the conjunction that happened on december 21st a lot of people Baby boomers, millennials, generation, um, what's the generation after me? Generation Y, generation Z? I forget. Anyway, that's why we're all waking up. That's why you can see on TikTok, you see on Instagram, a lot more um, people talking about esoteric knowledge, a lot more people getting into secret governments, a lot more people getting into tarot cards because people are waking up, right? People are waking up and that's a beautiful, that's amazing, that's wonderful. And back to insecurities. <laughs> So I deal with insecurities in my love life. I deal, in, I deal with insecurities in my work. I deal with insecurities in my um, connections with people. So when you come out of your son's return, you basically like are who God created you to be. And there's no more bullshit right there's no more bullshit there's no more people pleasing there's no more like oh childhood wounds that haven't been healed nah that side of the turn stitch you right up okay stitch you right up if you don't know what i'm talking about check out the video so with my saturn's return it made me see my where my insecurities are and why right you have to get to the root in order to dig it out you can't just say, oh, I'm insecure because my dad was an alcoholic. Okay, well, why was your dad an alcoholic? What did his parents do to him? Because listen, when you heal yourself, you heal generation, seven generations before you and seven, seven generations after you. You are number eight. If you take the number eight, you turn it to the side, it is the symbol for infinity. And if you untwist the, the symbol of infinity, you get zero. And you turn it back on its side and you get zero. You are agent zero. You are the beginning. The first number in numerology is zero. I, I did this. I meant to do this. It's zero. So you are agent zero. You are the one that has come to clear seven generations before you and seven generations after you. Okay? You are important. You matter. So yes, your your father might have been a narcissist yes your you might have been abused yes all of these things are true no one is not being empathetic to you or to me but if we want to move forward if we want to get everything while we're here on this earth in this lifetime because i'll never be a bina again right i've incarnated on this earth millions of times i have been in different star systems but I will never be a Bina Ansa ever again. So I'm gonna make it count, baby. So what does that mean? If I wanna make it count, I gotta clear it out. What do I have to clear out? I have to clear out the whys. Why was my mother this way? Why was my father this way? Why is my brother this way? So you're gonna wanna ask why 
in your meditation practices, when you're journaling, when you're in the bathtub, in all of these ways, start asking spirit why. You are not alone. As Agent Zero, <laughs> you have the support of the universe, your spirit guides, your angels, spirit itself, your higher self. You have got the cosmic team like behind you 100%. So start asking why. Why am I like this? Why do I feel like I need to people please? Why do I need people to like me? Why do I date these types of people? Why? Ask why and the universe will answer you. I have been on my deep healing journey for the past three years, but throughout my 20s, I've just, I, this is my like third spiritual awakening. Um, Throughout my 20s, I just knew that there was more to life and there was more than just us. And now, now it's all coming together, right? So sometimes spiritually, you could be like, boop, boop, bat, me and Jesus like this, me and um, Divine Mother are like, bam, what's up, girl? We're going to meet out for brunch, okay, right? But humanly, it could still be... I don't want to say a mess, but it could still be a mess, right? Humanly, right? Like your humanness kind of gets in the way of your being, right? Human being, your, your human gets in the way of your being. And so that's why it's so important to ask why, to do the healing work, to do the healing work for yourself. And it is tough as shit. It is tough to do healing work seven generations before you. Asking why your great, great grandmother was mean to your mother right? That's, that's my story right there. So sometimes even when I'm creating content, I'm just always in comp. I was, I was cause I'm breaking through it, but always in competition, always in co comparison. And recently I realized that I am what I was always seeking out. I was always seeking out specific types of people, specific types of friends, specific types of opportunities because I thought that I wasn't that. I thought, a thought, a thought is a thing. A thought can be released from you, 100%. A thought can be released from you. And I thought I wasn't something. And then I realized I am that. <laughs> So the, for the past 10 years of my life, I've been chasing something that I already was. Anything that you're seeking outside of yourself, you already are that. Yes, it's good to have inspiration. Yes, it's good to have motivation and like, it's completely fine. But whatever they are, you are. Cause you're looking in the mirror, but you think that you're not that. And so you have to strive or be something else or work hard to be something that you already are. And that has been my lesson is, Abina, stop working so hard because you are already it. And if I'm saying that to myself, I'm saying that to you. If you came on this channel and you were like, wait, hold up, I like her hat, I like her plants, but you're like receiving the word, that means that you and I are one in the same. So I actually wanna give an example of how deep my insecurity was and with the um, negativity of my mind and how that all comes into play in reality. So this is a paint, this is a self portrait. This is a self portrait that I did of myself last year. I painted this because I used to paint all the time and I stopped painting for a long time because I was hyper focused on um, Instagram and the algorithm and that's a whole nother story for a whole nother day. But I did not ever want to show anyone this picture. I thought this was something that I wanted to do for me. I'm not trying to sell something. I'm not trying to do anything other than do something for me. But my thoughts, my first thought from myself was, oh, I like this. This came out pretty good. And this was inspired by the paintings by Reina Noriega. I hope I'm saying her name right. So basically I was inspired by her and I did my own self portrait. Now, the thoughts that I had about showing this to someone was, oh, it's not good enough. It's not that good. The lines are messy. Oh, it's not, it's just not it. And it's like, skirt. Why isn't it it? Why can't this hang in the MoMA? Why can't this hang in the mocha for all of my LA, LA people? Why? Why can't this be so good that someone would pay a million dollars for it? Why? Because my mind, right? Because I've been conditioned to 
think negatively about myself, whether that's family, whether that's um, society, all that those dumpings of you're not good enough, so you need to buy this thing. You're not good enough as you are, so you need to go and buy this thing, work out. You need to go and do this surgery. You need to go and do this because you're not good enough as you are. All that programming that our parents fell for and their parents fell for, that their parents fell for, that we are breaking free of and the generations after us and the generation after that after us are breaking free of that self-acceptance okay is why i did not believe that this was good enough to be seen by others and that is a real thing right that's true that's how i felt but this morning when i really got the push from spirit to do this video i said hold up it's not about this it's about this. So now I'm going to take this, I'm going to take it off of the board and I'm going to hang it in my home. And whoever comes into my home, they will see this painting. So what in your life is something that it's not necessarily the thing, it's the way you think about the thing. It could be anything. It could be your relationship with your magnificent partner and you're just like, why is this person with me? How could I be with this person? Or it's your job. You have an amazing job and you're like, why? why? And that's self-sabotage because you have been trained and conditioned to believe that you are not good enough. But key words, trained and conditioned. You were not born this way. It's all by design, but you are a powerful 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 spiritual being who can overcome anything that this third dimension wants to throw at you baby you got this now let's get into today's meditation oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah before we get into today's meditation be sure to subscribe to my channel comment below and leave a thumbs up so that more people can receive this message i highly highly ask that you grab your rose crystal quartz um, I purchased these from a black owned store called Simply Wholesome out in LA. You can also purchase from black owned company soulfulvibes.co. I will leave both of the links in the description box or in the comments, but please grab your rose crystal quartz for this meditation. We are going to be using the power of love, right? Because that is why people who are insecure and who project their lack of self-acceptance and self-love onto others is simply because there's no love. And it sounds corny, it sounds cheesy, but it's the truth. A lot of what we see in this third dimension is just a lack of love. We're gonna lie down, there's gonna be a lying down meditation, we're gonna lie down and placing um, so I have three. So I'm going to be placing them on my third eye, my heart, and my womb. These are three extremely important channels for energy to travel, for healing to occur. For insecurity, um, also it's the solar plexus right up here and the sacral plexus, which is down um, beneath your belly button where your womb is. Those are the two very important places. So aside from my meditation, if you're working on insecurities, you can do solar plexus meditations and sacral plexus meditations to assist you on your journey of releasing that conditioning. Go ahead and find yourself in a comfortable position, laying flat to the ground. You can either lay in Shavasana with your hands spread out and your legs spread out to the sides, with your palms facing up. As you inhale, allow your belly to expand and as you exhale, allow your belly to contract. Mm. We're gonna do that three more times. Inhale through the nostrils. Slight exhale through the mouth. Oh. 
another one, inhale, exhale, last one, inhale, exhale, being mindful that your shoulders are relaxed, bringing a slight part between your teeth. You can have your eyes, or you can have your mouth closed or slightly open. Removing the tongue from the roof of your mouth. Keeping that beautiful, steady breathing pace. Activating the calm part of our nervous system bringing relaxing energy to our bodies. Allow us to envision the energy of our rose crystal, allowing the energy of our rose quartz crystal to emanate through wherever we have placed it, allowing that love to penetrate through years of conditioning. If you feel like smiling, please feel free to do so. If you feel like crying, please feel free to do so. This is your practice. The unstableness is not who you are. The insecurities are not who you are. The inability to see yourself as you really are is not true. You are not generations of heart. You are not generations of abuse. You are not generations of lies and secrets. My beautiful one, you are the healer. You are the light. You are the love this world needs. You are safe to look into your past and dig out what no longer serves you. You are safe to go into the darkness and retrieve what has been holding you back. You are safe acknowledging the pain so that you can be free. I want you to repeat this with me softly out loud. It is not my fault. It was not my fault. I am not at fault. Go ahead and take a deep breath in. Exhale. You are the one that you needed all along, beloved. You are the one that you needed all along.
placing your left hand over your solar plexus, which is right at the top of your belly, and your right hand over your sacral plexus, which is over your right underneath your belly button. This is where insecurities live. Not only do they live in the mind, but they live in these two chakras, these two energy points. Say these with me out loud, softly to yourself. I digest that I am free from insecurities. I digest that it is okay for me to be the best. I digest that it is okay for me to receive love. I digest it is okay for me to be different from the people that raised me. I digest it is okay to feel stable in myself. I digest it is okay for me to feel grounded within myself. I digest it is okay for me to be confident in myself and in the work I put out into the world. I digest. It is okay for me to feel good about being a creative being. Go ahead and take a deep inhale. Exhale. Go ahead and rub your belly, rub your womb, rubbing your solar plexus, sacral plexus chakras, bringing love to this area clockwise, counterclockwise, knowing that the energy of healing is integrating into these chakras knowing that a new day has arrived, a new beginning is here for you, beautiful one. We're gonna do three deep inhales. We inhale love, exhale insecurity that isn't ours. We inhale faith in ourselves. We exhale mistrust in ourselves that is not of us. <sighs> we inhale stability within our power. We exhale the patriarchy and societal conditioning. <sighs> when you're ready, go ahead and come back into the room, wiggling your fingers, wiggling your toes opening your eyes when you're ready. When you're ready, come up into a comfortable seated position, placing your hands over your kneecaps, over your knees, bringing our hands to our hearts, bowing in reverence to ourselves for knowing that we are breaking free from conditioning, we are breaking free from what is not ours, we are breaking free from what no longer serves us, we are breaking free from survival mode, and we are entering into our authentic thriving mode, whatever that means for us as individuals. I thank you so much for tuning into today's video. I love you so much. Be sure to comment, subscribe, hit the thumbs up button so that more people can see this video.
I want you to know that you have everything within you to go on this healing journey, to look at your past, to look at generations before you's past, and to move forward and move on so that the generations after you will never, ever, ever have to endure or go through anything that you have been through. I love you. You are seen. You got this. Peace.